So what you like to edit an actual contact form into Shopify. So whether you needed to add a custom fields to change the design or to modify the form settings, Shopify makes it easier to adjust the contact form to better meet your business needs. So let's get into it. So first of all, what you want to do is to access your theme editor. I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description just in case you don't have claimed your Shopify store with an actual great, great deal for the next three months. Once you are directly here into Shopify, let's go and look out for the actual online store. Into online store, you can locate the actual themes. Here into themes, what you can do is to customize directly here down. I choose to customize. So whether you can change various aspects of your store appearance, including the contact form and much more elements. So once we are actually here into this new element of the contact form, usually since we're just getting started directly inside our editor, what you want to do is to make sure that you have an actual current uh, contact form added into your store. It might be looking something like this. And you can see we only have the actual name, the email, the phone number, and the comment section. So what I can do is to hit into the actual new template and you can see that we have this template element here so you don't want to focus into the header or to the footer neither of them focus into template and you can see that i can click here where it says contact form now here into the contact form we have the actual heading and we have the actual fields that we can add directly into the contact form we can actually change the actual page and we can add a new section if you want to directly here into the editor now if you want to edit the actual form fields to edit those directly into the contact form or similar to the sidebar click on it and you will see options to modify your labels here inside the contact form now if you don't see this element what you can do is to delete or remove this contact form and add a new contact form myself so in this case what i'm going to be doing here is just to leave this as it is and add a new section now i'm going to hit of course into save let's go into exit and here inside the application to the left part let's just type the word forms so this one should be uh, showing us the actual shopify forms now shopify this forms is totally for free but this one is going to be really really great and affordable for people who are just getting started water at different custom fields so i'm going to go for install and we can see that we are already inside the forms of the shopify so that means that I need to, of course, to pin this and create my actual new form. Inside here, you can choose to add it as a pop-up or as an inline. I choose inline and this into the form related, let's say, contact. I go for create and you can see here's our actual form. So here where it says sign up, I'm going to go for contact us. Here in contact, what we will do is let's say reach us and leave your, uh, I don't know, maybe like data here, something like that. And now here into the fields, what you can do is to add elements you want to add. For example, here's the first name, here's the email, add it as required. I add a new field, for example, I go for last name. Uh, this is to be required. I'm gonna just move this into the upper side, add a new field, for example, adding an actual phone. This is not required, but this is like optional. Add a new field. And here, let's say for example, that I go for I don't know, maybe like a multi-line text. And here, here is my label text, minimum characters should be, let's say for example, 23, and maximum should be like 100. Let's say, what is your question? And of course, hit into done. In this case, this one should be, of course, required. Now, here's the content disclaimer. By signing up, you could receive the marketing messages and all that information, right? So I choose to show message. If you wanted to add like a discount, you're actually ready to go. Here you can add a title, the content, and change the actual styling. Now here into the style, what you can do is to change if you wanted to. In this case, I'm gonna just leave this as it is, even the actual body, and we're actually good to go. Now what I'm gonna be doing here is to save this form. Now that I have just saved this form, we have the actual form ID here. So what I'm going to be doing here is to copy this form ID and go back directly into the editor. So let's go back directly inside the customization of our store. And here let's go into the contact field. Inside here I'm going to add a new section. And here let's look out for the actual section of the contact. So I select forms. And here as you can see here is the forms. 
so it's going to be asking me for a formed ID. The same ID that was provided for me here inside form ID. So that's the reason why we copy this form ID. So I paste the form ID here and here should be appearing my formed ID here. As you can see, it actually appears here. What you can do is to, of course, change the colors if you want to. So you can see how it actually appears. You can see how the button background. Let's say that I change it for something related into my store colors. And there we go. The button label should be appearing in here. I have the links if I wanted to change that, of course. And lastly, a few errors. And there we go. Once you have submitted or you have finished that, let's go here and to save. So this is how we can customize the editing field. So this is how we can also customize the style, the setting of the forms, including the changing button text, adjusting the match to your brand's aesthetic. So some themes allow you to add additional instructions for filling out the form, a customer thank you message, for example, or you can just edit those directly inside the actual element of the form application. So once you finish that, well, let's go for view. And here, always remember to click to save at the top right corner of the theme editor. And there we go. Now I'm going to click it into submit. And you can see it says success. Thank you. The form has now been submitted. So I need to go back directly into my store and make sure that we have now an actual submission. And we can see that we have just now have the actual contact type already been added there. And we can learn a little bit more about the customer data here into this help center. And that's it. You have now custom to your contact form to better if that's your Shopify store needed, guys. So customizing your contact form can increase customer interaction and improve data collection, guys. So ultimately improve uh, helping you serve your customers better. If you find this very helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more Shopify tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully we can all see you next time.